The match lose two to one. How do you feel about your team's performance today? I thought they were outstanding today. I thought we deserved more out of the game. Uh, I thought Seattle was fortunate, but that happens in, in football. They feel good. They get the points. Um, you know, we feel bad. We don't, but I thought we deserved more out of the game. First half, you guys have a lot of the ball pretty much the entire first half. Did you expect that? Was that part of the plan to try to take control of this game coming into CenturyLink? Yeah, our plan was to come in and go toe to toe with with them, and I thought we did that. And I thought we were far and away the better team. Um, you know, I thought the official was very poor. So I'll stick with the theme of coaches complaining this week. Um, but the the reality is, I call a spade a spade, and. Uh, the official was, was very poor today. How did that penalty kick call affect the match? Well, obviously it goes 2-0, right? I thought the first one was a bit unfortunate as well. Might have been a couple fouls in there. You know, we got to do better and clear the ball as well. That was the first time they really smelled our goal. They had nothing. You know, in, in fact, I think back on the game, I can't even really remember not one time where they broke us down. Um, you know, their high-powered, uh, big-budget team had trouble. You know, they couldn't create much on us. And, uh, you know, they get out of the out of this game with three points off of, uh, you know, a poor first goal where I, th I think it's a couple fouls and then a PK. Do you take positives from this match, this performance, heading into the final seven matches of the season? Yeah, we need to continue this positive play. You know, we have seven games to go. Uh, our next two are at home. Our next three or four are at home. You know, if we take care of business at home in the next three or four, uh, we're going to be in, in a good spot. So, you know, we can't get frustrated. There's some things that, that happened in this game that, that we felt hard done by. Um, but we need to continue our positive play. If you look at the second half versus Houston and both halves tonight, if we play like that uh, nine out of ten times we're going to win. Uh, really pleased. I think we got almost 20 shots or nearly 20 shots on goal on the road. Um, I think they had six, you know, maybe one on goal. Um, you know, this game can be cruel, but it, but I've learned over time that it comes back around. So it'll come back around in our favor here in the next seven games and even out. Um, you know, they come out on the winning end. Don't know that uh, we deserve to lose. Don't know they deserve to win, but that happens in football. And, you know, you move on from it. But, uh, you know, I think again, and, and like I said, I'm sticking with the theme of, you know, we're coaches. We're all ambassadors for MLS. We want the game to grow. And uh, I thought the the, the game was very poorly managed by the official. And he's an experienced guy, but he seemed to be sleepwalking through the game. Um, it wasn't anything where he was, you know, biased for one team or the other, nothing unethical. I just thought he was very poor. You know, just like coaches have poor games and, re and players have poor games, he had a poor game. You know, it seemed like he wasn't ready for the intensity, wasn't ready for the magnitude of the game, and, you know, kind of strolled around and, you know, just didn't seem like there was any consistency in the foul recognition, um, you know, and that's that's the frustrating thing, you know. When you go into a game, you know, officials see things differently, but, you know, you, you get a sense right away, well, what's a foul? And, and you can kind of adjust to that. I mean, I have no idea what a foul was today, no idea. Some were, you know, hard fouls not called, light fouls called, um, you know, it's just for me, it just seemed like it got away from him. He probably knows it as well, um, but, you know, there needs to be some accountability, right? I mean. We're all under pressure to perform. The officials need to be under pressure as well. And, you know, I hope Peter Walton's watching this game. They, they, we've, we've come up with this great organization, Pro, and I hope that we're evolving and, and growing these officials, you know, and that we're not turning a blind eye to poor performances. Because, you know, in this game, with two teams, good teams, um, you know, rival, rivalry game, a lot at stake, we need a better referee. Uh, you know, and like I said, I think he, he is a good official based on the games that I've watched in the past. Um, he's capable, but today he was very poor. You mentioned the big moment, George Boshive stepping into this moment. How does your, uh, you're going to have to play him probably against, against Sporting Kansas City as well with Char out and Johnson out. How did his performance today um, give you, I guess, confidence of, of playing him moving forward? I thought our whole team was, was very good, like I said, in both sides of the ball. You know, defensively, um, like I said, you hold a team like Seattle uh, with the talent they have to only six shots and you know maybe one or two on goal. I mean, you, you got to be organized and you got to be up for it. And I thought we were up for it. We battled. We were bright from the start. We had a couple chances early. We were the one kind of pushing. And you know, first time they're in the box, it's in the back of the net. You know, and, and then you know, then it's the PK. And 
But I thought our response second half was outstanding. Uh, we, we pulled the goal back to go 2-1, and uh, we're in position. You know, they're hanging on. And, you know, listen, we leave a bit of a marker, I think. Even though we didn't get the result, we leave a marker for, for you, know, uh, you know, the next seven games. And uh, if we continue this, right, we're going to get points. Um, but I think uh, sometimes short term you feel uh, a little bit hard done, but uh, it'll even out. Thanks, Caleb, guys. Um, Thanks. With all the chances you guys were able to get, are you at all concerned with the uh, uh, finishing? No. I mean, do we get chances? If you get chances, you're going to score goals. So we got, I think, 20 shots on goal, you know, so good chances. So I think there'll be a few guys that are disappointed with, you know, that finishing touch, um, you know, but if you keep getting chances, you're going to score goals. I've seen that. It doesn't matter who's in those situations. You're eventually going to find goals and, you know, bit unfortunate. I thought we should have leveled it at 1-1 with the breakaway. Uh, you know, the game's different if we find that goal. And then, you know, obviously we missed the one to go 2-2. Two -two. That was for a couple, actually, clear ones to go 2-2. Two -two. So I thought we deserved at least a point, even under the situation and circumstances of this match. Um, but like I said, I thought we deserved more out of the game. Now the kind of red line is only a few points below you guys. Um, how does that kind of um, moving forward to the game against Kansas City kind of maybe make it a little bit of bigger game going home? You know, Jamie asks these same questions every week. You know, it doesn't change anything. You know, we focus on our business. We go about our work. We focus on, you know, preparation. Uh, you know, it doesn't change or make any game bigger or less. You know, there's 34 games. The first game's important. The, the second, the 28th, the 34th, they're all important. They're all three points. It doesn't change a thing. Obviously, with them winning in this game, they move up. The race gets tighter. Um, but we've, we've got two home games in a row. we got three or four at home. Um, I like our chances of getting points in those games, and if we do, we're going to be in a good spot. But we need to continue the positive play that we had into the next game. You know, and for me, even though we didn't get the points, that makes me feel good because I know in the last three halves we've been up, we've been very good. Um, so there's not a lot, a lot to change. We're correct. Just need to keep doing what we've been doing, and, and the points will come. Is there a possibility of an Uruti, Uruti and Milano pairing up front? I, I get these questions, and they're. There, uh, you know, there's always a possibility, but you have to understand. Anytime you move a player, right, and, and change your formation, then it affects other guys. So, Diego Valeria was one of the best flair players in the field today, and we built our system around him being a ten. So, if we play two up top, then Valeri's not at the ten; he's wide. He's not a wide player. So that'd be that'd be like changing your system and moving Obafemi Martins or Clint Dempsey somewhere else just to get an extra guy on the field. That's that's just short-sighted um, tactical reasoning. You talked about the officiating, uh, the penalty kick specifically. Did you think that was a penalty kick? Um, no, I didn't. I didn't think it was a penalty kick, in my opinion. You played some good football during this period, certainly yeah. including today, but the bottom line in the first half has not been good this year. You're minus eight on goal difference, which is near the bottom of the league, and have only scored seven goals, which is the bottom of the league. Why do you think you've, you're sort of having those first half bottom line struggles? I don't know. We played well tonight, first half. You know, so I think a lot of it has to do with teams sitting back and keeping things tight in the first half. You know, even saw Seattle on the road; they did that. You know, so I think teams are, you know, being very uh, organized against us. Uh, you know, and because of that, the game doesn't open up until the second half.